Hey, what's up, Classic TV fans? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about I Love Lucy, more specifically about the episode called Lucy's Bicycle Trip. Now, this is one that comes from the European story where they all go to Europe and they have several days in France, Italy, England, and many other different countries. But before we get into that, I will be doing a special, special giveaway. It'll be for two US coins, 24 karat gold plated coins, that is. I will give you details in this video. They are special Lucille Ball 100th birthday anniversary coins, a legal tender and a collector's item. I will be giving them away as a set. Um, all the information I'll give to you if you watch the entire video. But first, let's get right to this amazing and fun blooper. Now, not too long ago, I was binge watching I Love Lucy and going through the entire European vacation tour, starting with the cruise and going along with when they're in different countries. And I ended up in the Italian episode, specifically Lucy's Italian bicycle or Lucy's bicycle trip, that is. Um, it's very reminiscent to me. It's one that I really like because there is a lot of elements in this episode. In the beginning, they're at the hotel, Italian hotel, and they're wanting to bike across from Italy to France. Now, what's interesting about that is that they could take many means of transportation. They could take a bus, they could take even a plane technically, but they decide, or at least Lucy decides, to bike the route. It's about 35 miles, I believe they said in the episode. And well, yes, the Mertzes take a tandem bike and Lucy and Ricky take two separate bikes and they get really tired. So they have to stop by at this farming area in Italy and they meet this farmer. Coincidentally, that's the same guy who threw, quote unquote, threw the knives at Lucy. You remember that when she was not supposed to tell a lie? He was the professor, same guy, same actor. And as they're in the farmhouse, a lot of funny things happen, including Lucy milking a cow. Pretty funny. They actually had a cow on set, which was pretty cool. But then later on, they go and they see the border. The, that is the border between what we believe is Italy and France. Now, what's great is they give us a panning shot from left to right, and you get to see the little huts or the little shacks where the border guards are at, and essentially the border that they made there. And then they pan all the way to the right where we see the characters Ricky, Lucy, Fred, and Ethel coming in on the bikes, pretty tired, kind of walking with their bikes. And this is where we get the funny back and forth play with Lucy for getting her passport. They have to bike back, try to find it, and they go back and forth many different times. And what actually results is that Lucy has a passport on her the entire time. And unfortunately, she forgets her bike on the other side. She gets stranded there and cries at the end. A pretty funny episode all in all. But if you don't look carefully, you're gonna miss this blooper that took place where you're supposed to be outside here. Remember, this is outside between the border of Italy and France. A little secret here, they're not really there. This is the same studio. This is the same sound stage where they filmed pretty much everything else on I Love Lucy, the home in Connecticut, and um, many of the popular episodes from season three onward. Even the California Here I Come episodes all filmed pretty much in this same spot. But if you look on the right hand side on the upper part, you can see the end of the set. You can even see the wood that is used to hold the exteriors that make it look like they're outside. It's pretty funny to look at. It's pretty glaring. It's not just a snippet. There's a lot that you can see behind the scenes there. And it's pretty funny that the camera, when it panned, they missed that. Even the editors, they didn't crop that out. And it aired and it appeared here uh, pretty much whenever you watch the episode, you can check it out. So if you like stuff like this, let me know in the comments down below. I have many I Love Lucy videos as well as over 1,500 on classic TV shows and movies. So make sure to check them out. Now, I know a lot of you want to know how to win this uh, coin set. Now, just to reiterate what this is, this is a Lucille Ball 100th birthday coin set that was you know created it was pretty cool um, she of course was born in 1911 and this came out in 2011 but i was able to grab one for a lucky winner it comes with a certificate of authenticity this is genuine legal united states currency legal tender it's 24 karat gold plated 
US Kennedy half dollar as well as a New York US statehood quarter. And there's portraits of Lucia Ball on it. What I really liked is that both of them, you can see Lucy and then below it, you can see how it's basically attached to the actual half dollar and quarter. You can see the ridges of John F. Kennedy on the half dollar and on the quarter, you can see the profile of George Washington right behind Lucille Ball. So that's really cool. And they're in these little cases and they come with these two little black stands that you can use to stand them up on your desk or for you to give them to your grandkids, to give them to your children, whoever, your friends, family, um, and you're gonna be able to win them free here. How do you win? Well, you must be a subscriber. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Secondly, you must hit the like button. And thirdly, down in the comments below, just type in Lucy in Italy. As long as Lucy in Italy is in your comment, you can write anything else. It could just be that, or it could just be more, whatever you wanna do. And then finally, there's a link in the description. Please don't email me about this. Just click on the link in the description. The first one uh, talking about the coin giveaway, just fill in a little bit of information so that when I pick the winner, I know where to send it and how to communicate with you. I'll have all that information it's kept confidential, of course. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for the support as always. My name is Rick9G and most importantly, never forget, be hopeful. Thank you to everyone who supports me, especially my diamond tier patrons. Vito L, David D, Sally N, Ricky, Citizen Kane 359, Kevin K, Greg S. Thank you as well to my new gold tier patrons, Jennifer P and Scott F. To be listed here, check out the links below for my Patreon.